Let's review the show commands that we can utilize to explore those tables that are created for the data plane. First one is the route cache, show IP cache, C-A-C-H-E. In this case, we don't have any entries because we're using Cisco Express forwarding, but if we were using fast switching, we would have prefix listed as well as the length, the age it's gonna be remaining in this table for, the exiting interface we're gonna use in order to get to the next top IP address that is listed. If we wanna look at the FIB, it's show IP Ceph for the IPv4 FIB. And if we wanna review the IPv6 forwarding information base, we type in show IPv6 Ceph in order to view that. So, so in this case, we have two different FIBs at the data plane, one for IPv4 and one for IPv6. So let's examine the IPv4 forwarding information base. And what I'd like you to realize right off the bat is the order. It's, it's very logical in its order. It's from, the, um, it, it's from the lowest address starting off with zero, and it increases all the way up to the highest address in this case, which is 255. So there's a nice logical order to this particular table. Let's focus on the 172.16.32.192 slash 29 entry. It states if we want to send a packet to this particular destination network, the next top IP address is 10.1.13.3, and we use this particular interface to get there, gigabit ethernet 2 slash 0. However, we also need the layer 2 information now because it is ethernet. So if we look at the output of show adjacency detail, we will see the specifics of the adjacency table in the data plane. And in this case, we can see that it's displaying both the IPv4 information as well as the IPv6 forwarding information. So our interface is gigabit 2 slash 0. There's the next top IP address for IPv4. There's the next top IP address for IPv6. And notice right here, this is great. That right there is displaying the destination and source IP address. Oh, pardon me. The destination and source MAC address. That's what we're looking at there. Likewise down here. So we have the information that is necessary in the data plane to successfully build the frame. It's all pre-populated for us here. So in this example, a packet arrives inbound, let's say on gigabit ethernet one slash zero. It's destined for the 172, 16, 32.192 slash 29 network. It says 10.1.13.3, gigabit ethernet two slash zero. We look in our adjacency table. There's the entry, there's the MAC address, out it goes.